Welcome to our lecture on line. We're now going to explore the concept of the equation of a line. Now, what is the equation of a line? And it turns out it gives you a relationship between the x and the y coordinates of every point on the line. Of course, there's an infinite number of points on any line, and there's a relationship between the x and the y coordinates. And if you can somehow write an equation, an equation is something that has a left side, a right side, and an equal sign, which means the left side equals the right side. And so essentially, it equates a value for the x-coordinate to a value for the y-coordinate. So here we have an illustration of a line, and we've shown some of the points on the line, and notice that each of those points has an x and a y-coordinate. When x is equal to 0, y is negative 2. When x is equal to 1, y is 0. When x is equal to 2, y is 2. When x equals to 3, y is 4, and so forth. So there's that relationship between them, and an equation will allow us to have that in an equation format, that exact relationship. So, how do we do that? Well, it turns out we'll show you how to come up with the equation later. Right now, we're just going to give you an equation, and the equation is going to look like this y is equal to 2x minus 2. Now you may wonder, how did I figure that out? Well, be patient, we'll show you that on some of the next videos. First of all, it has a general format of y equals mx plus b. Now the m stands for the slope, so let's write that down. So m equals the slope of the line, in other words, the steepness of the line. The bigger the slope, the steeper the line. The smaller the slope, the less steep the line. So here, the slope is relatively steep, and so we can see that m equals 2, the slope equals 2. And we'll show you in a moment what that means. b here is what we call the y-intercept. The y-intercept is the point where the line crosses the y-axis. So we can see that here's the y-axis, and the line crosses the y-axis when y equals negative 2. So here we see b is negative 2. The slope, by definition, we'll see that later in more detail, is the ratio of the rise over the run when we go from one point to another point. And so, when, for example, when we start at this point, and then we go to the next point, then we need to move to the right in order to make that happen. Notice that we have to go a distance of one unit from 2 to 3 in the x direction, which allows us a change in the y direction of two units. So you can see here that the rise is the change in the y direction, the run is the change in the x direction. You have to move to the right and then get a corresponding change in the y direction. And so in this case, the y goes from 2 to, uh, from two to 4, so that would be 4 minus 2, and for the change in the x, we go from 2 to 3, so that's 3 minus 2, and see that gives us 2 over 1, which is equal to 2, and therefore that's where the slope comes from. So now, what does that equation give us? This is the equation of that particular line, and what it allows us to do now is it allows us to find a value for y for any value of x that we give. You plug in a value for x, for example, for example, 0. If x is 0, 2 times 0 is 0. Minus 2 means y equals negative 2. And that's exactly what we have over here. If x is 1, 2 times 1 is 2. Minus 2 gives me 0. Then y equals 0, 1 and 0. If x, is one, uh, if x is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, minus 2 gives me 2 again. So if x is 2, I get a 2, and so forth. So there's the equation that will give you a value for y for any given value for x. If the equation looks different, if you move the equation up or down and you change the slope, you'll have a different equation. Again, that equation will give the relationship between the, all the x values and all the y values of the coordinates of any one of the points on the line. So that's what we mean by the equation of a line. And so now we're going to learn some more properties and different things about the line in the videos to come.